Right now, a possible medical breakthrough giving hope to people with type 1 diabetes all around the world. Decades into one man's journey with diabetes, a revolutionary cell transplant has offered him a potential new chance of life. We first saw this story in the New York Times, and Will Reed joins us with more. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Robin. Unlike type 2 diabetes, which can be managed and sometimes reversed, type 1 diabetes is a chronic, chronic disease. Patients need daily insulin injections or infusions just to stay alive. It's been incurable, but hope and new possibilities are here in the form of a stem cell procedure that could change lives. 64-year-old Brian Shelton has lived with type 1 diabetes for more than 40 years, 15 years with dangerous episodes of hypoglycemia. You spend your entire life, every minute of the day, trying to keep track of where your numbers are at. Did I eat? Did I not eat? Sometimes when his blood sugar dropped, he says he'd lose consciousness without warning. I shoveled down the snow, and when I got inside the garage, my number crashed, and I went face first into the concrete. But now Brian's life has changed after becoming the first participant in a groundbreaking new clinical trial. How do you feel right now? Right now, uh, great. Just fantastic. I feel like I, I got released from handcuffs. I'm not sitting here like, where's my orange juice? Where's my pills? Where's my, st you know, it's like, I don't need them. Felicia Paliuka heads up the type 1 diabetes program at Vertex Pharmaceuticals. Using a discovery made by Harvard professor Dr. Douglas Melton, the pioneering work here targets the root cause of the disease. In people with type 1 diabetes, the body attacks the cells in the pancreas that create insulin. But with this new treatment, the patient receives an infusion of new cells, grown from stem cells, that help to restore the body's natural ability to create and regulate that insulin, essentially giving the body back the cells it lost. Have you cured type 1 diabetes? Brian's results are nothing short of remarkable. We've seen improvements in his glucose control, improvements in his need for insulin, improvements in his ability to make insulin on his own because these cells are, are there. We have a lot of work left to do, uh, but this data gives us great confidence. Brian says he can now go days without taking insulin and no longer fears those sudden dangerous crashes. Now I could do yard work without having to worry about my numbers going too high or too low. All my numbers are right in that line. And just seeing that, you know, makes me feel great. I feel like I'm getting another chance at life. It's too early to know if this procedure will work long term and permanently. A downside is Brian has to take immunosuppressant drugs. Those put him at risk for other diseases. but. Brian is happier and healthier now. And Robin, this is potentially the biggest innovation for diabetics in a century. That's when human administration of insulin first began. All right. He is so happy. Yeah. Yeah. As thanks, he for should be. Uh, thanks for sharing that, Will. You Appreciate it. it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.